Welcome to Study Guide Forum. Today we're going to be uh, learning how to analyze uh, volumetric analysis to uh, calculate. We're going to be looking at that to so calculate the molecule of water of crystallization and um, percentage water of crystallization. And we have the question on the board. And the question says that A is a solution, a solution of hydrochloric acid. Solution of hydrochloric acid containing one mole per dm cube of solution. B is a solution prepared by dissolving 3.5 grams of sodium and sodium trisocarbonate with a water crystallization of N and water crystallization in 250 cm cube. Now, other thing here is the process of normal process of hydration that is put direct put uh, acid A into the bullet, then hydrate with 20 or 25 cm cube of your, um, of your pipette of B, portion of B, so all those things. Now, what we have here is they say that from the information, from your result and information given, calculate the concentration of B in more per dm cube, volume of N in, the value of N in the triazocarbonate, hydrated and then percentage water of crystallization we have the equation of reaction here and now we the final product of the the outcome of the, this thing or the result of the titration is what we have here so from here now we find out that um, everything seems to be relatively the same the first thing we do here for us to calculate this first one we need to get the value the average volume of the a use or the acid volume volume of A that will be we can take all the all of them we have plus 25.1 plus 25.1 all over 3 that will give us 25.1 cm cube so now we have what we are looking for the first thing we do is to calculate the whole concentration of um, B in more per dm cube. We are going to use this relation. So from our equation, we notice that the this is time for A, this one is time for B, this is what, this one is what, 2. We have it as two. The second one, the coefficient there is equal to what one. So the volume, the volume of the the concentration of this acid is the what is what we have here, which is and volume, which is the one we have here. And then we have a volume of this one is what we are looking for. That the concentration of that of the base B. We have the volume to be this. Then we have over one. So. So if we, if we are going by that, we have 2 times 25, we have 50 CB equal to 0 0.1 times 25.1 times 1. So that will give us, if we do that, that will give us um, 2.5. Over 50, 2.51 over 50. So when we divide, when you divide, we will have 0 0.05 more per dm cube. Approximately, we have 0 0.5 more per dm cube. So the next we are going to calculate is the value of the number two question. The value. The value of n, the value of n, we're going to use mass of what hydrated, hydrated salt over what molar mass, molar mass of hydrated equal to that hydrated salt to, that is equal to the mass of 
and hydros and hydros over what molar mass of and hydros so that's we're going to find the mass of this the mass of this we we can get it by we know that 250 of then is equal to 3.5 then 1000 will then be 3.5 over over 250 times 1000 that will give us 14 grams that is the mass of this one is 14 grams so the mass of and hydrous salts, we are going to get it by, we are going to do that one by operating the mass content here, because this is an anhydrous salt. So what we have here is, you know that mole is equal to mass over molar, molar mass. The molar mass of the anhydrous salt is um, 106. 106. Then the mole is this, equal to mass, and then molar mass which is 0 0.106 mass then mass then will be 0 0.5 0 0.05 times that will give us 5.3 gram the gm cube the gm that is the mass of this one which says was 0 0.3 5.3 grams so that we have it now but the molar mass of this and other salt is from here you can see this one we know it to be all this and this one is n18 because water is 18 then you can say plus n18 this other one we know it to be this so we can then work on it we can work on it to have equal to over 0 0.06 so the next thing we do here, crossing over, we have plus n18 equal to 14 times, 14 times 106, 14 times 106. So 14 times 106, 14 times 106, what we have here should be 14, 84 this other one will give us 51.8 plus 95.4 n equal to so when we subtract we have 4 n equal to 40 minus 5.8 this will give us equal to nine five point eight n. Okay, we have a nine five point four n equal to and two. That means n will then be nine four two two point two divided by. That will give us um, point six six or approximately ten as a ten molecule of water of crystallization. So the next thing we're going to do here is to calculate the we're going to calculate the percentage water of crystallization. Percentage of water crystallization that means mass. We're going to you know take the mass of mass of hydrated hydrated salt is 14 grams. Mass of an hydrous salt is what 5.3 grams. Mass of water mass of water will then be mass of hydrated salt minus 
anhydrous salt that will give us 8.7 grams so now percentage water of crystallization is equal to over 14 times over 1 that will give us 14 points that's the last answer thank you so much for being part of the class if you have any question you can also give us um, leave it as a comment there and make sure you share and then subscribe if you have not Thank you so much.